welcome back this is another video and this one is on vectors and it's a refresher of trigonometry okay let's get going okay so most of the things that we're going to do can be reduced down to right triangles and that makes our life really easy so we just have to use the basic trig functions of sine cosine tangent, inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent, and our good friend Mr. Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so for the right triangle, uh, some anatomy here. Uh, we have an angle, it's marked by theta. The side that is next to the angle but is uh, shorter of the two sides is called the adjacent side. The side that is across from the angle, get this, it's called the opposite side. You get it? It's, it's opposite the angle. Okay, and then the longer side is the hypotenuse. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, moving on. Now, Mr. Pythagoras' theorem, you know Pythagoras, old Greek guy, long time ago? Okay, well, this is his theorem. He's saying that the uh, hypotenuse length squared is equal to the opposite side squared plus the adjacent side squared or in math speak c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared so if you want to find the length of the hypotenuse you would take the square root of a squared plus b squared yay now here's your multiple choice question good luck Next, we have our basic trigonometry functions, our good friends that remind us of the fine princess Sokotoa. Yes, Sokotoa helps us understand our trig functions, or at least maybe not understand, but recall our trig functions. Uh, so, SOH says that the sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And ka tells us that the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then Mr. Tangent. Mr. Tangent is toa. It's the opposite side over the adjacent. Next. Okay, so now we have the inverse trig functions. And those are the functions that will undo the trig function. So if we want to find the angle, but we know what the lengths of the sides of the triangle are, we need to do the inverse of the trig function. Uh, and it's given the sign or given the notation of to the minus one, that does not mean that it's the reciprocal of the sine. Uh, that's notation for undoing the sine function or inverse. And for to find the angle, if you know the opposite in hypotenuse, you would take the inverse, or sometimes that's called the arc sine of the fraction opposite over hypotenuse. Similarly, for the arc cosine, the arc cosine of the adjacent over hypotenuse will give you the angle. And the arc tangent of the opposite over the adjacent side uh, will give you the angle as well. We are most often going to use the arctangent function when we're working with vectors. Not always. You have to look at the triangle to be sure what, you, uh, what function you're going to use. But most of the time, we're going to be using the arctangent to find the angles that are vectors. The hypotenuse is our vector. OK, the angles of our vectors. OK, moving on. Okay, so here's a sample problem. We have a surveyor that stands on a river bank directly across the river from a tree on the opposite bank. She then walks 100 meters downstream and determines that the angle from her new position to the tree on the opposite bank is, one, or is 50 degrees. How wide is the river and how far is she from the tree in her new location? Okay, so I'm going to draw my river. And my surveyor is standing right there. And there's a tree directly across the river. And then she walks downstream 
100 meters, looks back at the tree, and sees that the tree makes an angle, the direction to the tree makes an angle of 50 degrees with the uh, riverbank. And this distance is 100 meters. And I want to know how wide the river is. I want to know this length. So let's see. That side is opposite of 50 degrees. I know the adjacent side. I'm looking for the opposite side. So opposite and eight adjacent go along with tangent. And I want to find the length of the side. So that's the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And again, I want to find the length of the opposite. The opposite side is equal to the adjacent side times the tangent of the angle. Now I'm going to do some substitutions. The adjacent side is 100 meters long times the tangent of the angle which is 50 degrees. And let's pull up the calculator so we can do that calculation. That would be, turn it on, 100 times the tangent of 50. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees, uh, because if you leave it in radians from math class, you are going to get some really funny numbers. So this is about 119 meters, 119 meters. So the river was 119 meters uh, wide. Next, we want to find how far is she from the tree in her new location. We can go about this two ways. Now that we know the adjacent side and we have the opposite side, and uh, we could use the uh, Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, and that would be uh, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the adjacent side squared plus the opposite side squared. Or we could use our trig functions and only using the given numbers we could calculate uh, the length of the hypotenuse as well. And let's see, that in that case we would have the adjacent side, the angle, and we'd be looking for the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse goes along with Ka, so ka, cosine adjacent hypotenuse. So the cosine of the angle, which is 50 degrees, is equal to the adjacent side, which is 100 meters, over the hypotenuse. So either way, we could uh, find our hypotenuse. And it's really up to you which one you prefer. I like to go from numbers that were given in the problem, if at all possible. That way, if I made a mistake early on, uh, that sort of thing doesn't snowball through my problems. So I'm going to uh, use the cosine function to find my hypotenuse. And let's go ahead and pull up my calculator. And that would be 100 divided by uh, cosine of 50 degrees. And that would be 155.6 uh, meters. So the distance to the tree is equal to 155.6 meters. Why don't you go ahead and check out on your own if the Pythagorean theorem gives us the same answer. I hope it does. Otherwise, I did something horribly wrong. We have your free response question. Remember, draw a picture. It'll make it a lot easier. Good luck. We'll see you in class.